Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather, and this is Henry, and this is Create Your Own Cozy. tell you I finally got an inhaler I am finally feeling better but I have been under the weather for quite a while and quite honestly I've been feeling a little ugh, emotionally as well so I just wanted to encourage you guys because I started the day not really I started that the day not really feeling great but decided that I was gonna cancel all my plans for the day and just make things and you know what i'm feeling better so i just wanted to encourage you if making things or maybe even watching people make things like you guys are doing now makes you feel better then do it it's a form of self-care that sometimes i forget about so on today's video we are going to work through some christmas diy I am going to do ornament holders, which I've done in the past, and this year I'm going to update it a little bit. So I'll show you what I've done in the past, and then we'll work through some of the projects here. I'm going to throw in some other Christmas DIYs. Don't exactly know what I'm going to throw in. We'll, we'll see how many of these I can get finished. So if you like this type of content, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And let me know what your favorite project was and let me know what date you guys are decorating your homes. So let's get started. These are pieces that fell off some old chairs and they are my inspiration for today's projects. So what I'm going to do is take the first one and this is all scrap wood from my basement. I know there's a lot, but I have the the bottom piece is the same length as the spindle and the two side pieces are just whatever height i decide i wanted it to be so you can make these however long and tall you want um if you're using a spindle it will be based on the spindle so i went and got another piece of wood to make it more substantial so there's it was more weighty on the bottom and it would look good once ornaments are attached now for this particular one, I decided I'm going to paint all this wood white and have a natural old looking spindle. So I only did one coat of white and it covered it pretty well. Um, I kind of sanded it and I can't decide whether I'm going to keep it like this bright white or go over it with like a watered down antiquing mixture to kind of make it look a little bit older. I still haven't decided that. but one coat of white on all sides make sure you get all sides because you never know what you're going to see um, and you want to, your whole piece to look finished even if, if it's just for you but make sure you get rid of all paint drips and stuff but it doesn't have to be the neatest paint job ever next i'm finding the center of the spindle and this spindle is not symmetrical and that's totally okay that's kind of the fun part of using a very old spindle um, but just find the center and for this one i'm going to do three hooks so you find the center and then you can just kind of decide how far you want there to be between the middle and the other two and just make them even so i'm drilling a pilot hole with this drill and then I'm going to just screw in the C hooks that already have like a thread on the hooks. We'll take a cup of kindness yet for all I believe I got these hooks at Lowe's, maybe Hobby Lobby. 
but they sell them in multiple places and I'm sure Amazon has some as well. Next, I'm doing a dry fit, and then I'm going to nail gun all of these pieces together. I'm also going to use E6000. You can use wood glue, but all of mine is dried up, so I'm just using E6000. Um, in addition, like for this part, you could use a hammer and nails um, or screws. Even if you didn't have um, a nail gun, you could do pilot holes and screws and then cover up the screw top so i'm just putting e6000 on here that's going to be the long-term hold and quite honestly these things they don't need to be super sturdy you're putting ornaments on them the part that they need to be sturdy sturdy from is you're getting them in and out every year so um, make sure you glue them just because you're going to be moving them around more than you would if it was a permanent decor in your house now i'm going to do the same thing e6000 and then um one uh, nail gun, one nail up top there. Sorry I did not move the camera angle sooner, but I was really um, concerned that I was doing, I was more concerned about the nail gun than the camera angle, that I got the angle exactly right. And you'll notice my hand is not near where the nail is going, because if you do that at a wrong angle, it could Get you in the hand so just be extra careful if you're using a nail gun again you could use a um, drill bit and a screw as well now here is the black one this is a symmetrical piece and I am keeping it black. So I'm cutting off the ends of this to make them perpendicular so it sits straight. And I've decided with this one, I wanted to use some reclaimed wood or some old barn wood. So I've decided I want the holes from the chair on the underneath side. And then this is gonna be my piece on the bottom. And these pieces were already in my basement, so I kind of had to put the side pieces on the top, which makes for a little bit more of a complicated um, putting it together. But I'm doing barn wood, and I'm going to keep that black look on the spindle. And then I have a new piece of wood for the bottom, and I'm going to paint that black, and then put some um, antique direct antique wax on top of that just so it kind of matches the spindle and that is uh, my plan and then the next step is going to be to go sand down this very furry barn wood I don't like furry barn wood I like it to be soft and then I will do um, after I painted that bottom piece black I am going over both the spindle to protect from who knows where that has been because it is old free salvage um, direct antiquing wax over both of them and then just wiping it back The barn wood that I'm using did not come from the same place, um, so they're not the same tone. So I am using a watered down antiquing wax over both of these so that um, you see the smaller one's a little bit grayer, so that they both have the same tone to kind of finish them out.
Now this is where putting it together was a slight bit challenge and the other one I just attached it to the side. Um, but because of the lengths were already decided for me I had to attach it this way from the underneath side up and I used the biggest nail that I had for my nail gun which I think was one and three quarter inch and spoiler alert it didn't work very well but I'm still going to show you because my barn wood in the middle there is an unusual width so if you're using something that's not this um, or it's not this thick then you can still use the same method putting the nails in just like a stapler because the bottom and the side are not the same I created something that was kind of like a spacer so I could lay it down on the side and both pieces would be the same exact amount from the table if that makes sense so I did do the E6000 I put it on the spacer and then applied the nails. Now, what I ended up having to do, and I did not get it on video, is it was just not much of a nail sticking through. So what I did on mine was I did E6000 and then some high temperature hot glue, and I held it there, and I am leaving it alone for 24 hours. In addition, I came from the side and did an angle just to kind of pin it in with the nail gun, but it is not as solid as it could be. Next, I'm going to throw in this little topiary that I thrifted for $1.99. Um, it was cute, but the colors weren't quite my thing. And then this, I love this. It's like a mm, brass coated thing. So what I did is I painted all the little yellow things white so that it would match my decor. And then this wouldn't quite fit, so I used could use a knife or this is a mail opener that is now my like a craft knife for foam it works really well this is this foam is from the Dollar Tree and I basically took the scraps um, and put it on the bottom to lift it higher and just put Dollar Tree foam in there and then put my newly painted white topiary in there found some moss that I already had from another project but you can use stuff from the Dollar Tree to cover up the base of that and then I decided I am getting out my new um, my new old lace that I got from the estate sale and I got the one that was the whitest one since I had just painted the topiary white but I just created something fun to put on this since it's such a tall piece uh, let me know what you think of the final product Now this last project I got inspired by Julie from Julie's Designs and Signs. She thrifted a paper towel holder 
that she turned into a mini wreath holder. So I decided to use the other part of the spindle and then this wooden bowl I thrifted a long time ago and because of how it's curved, I have not been able to figure out what to use it for. So I decided to use it for a stand. So I'm going to cut the ends off of the spindle. I'm going to paint the top of this bowl and then I'm going to drill a pilot hole down the center and since I want this to be a little bit stronger, I'm going to use a screw from the underside and screw the spindle going up and then attach a hook and some other decorative stuff to make a little mini wreath holder. Let me know, do you like this? Also, I looked in my stash for a really cool hook and I don't have one yet. So I used a thumbtack and I'm going to be on the search for some cool antique something or other. I'm going to start this reveal from the pieces that I built probably about three years ago. And I built it originally for this nine foot table. You can see that you can make them any size, any color, any amount of ornaments, any height. You can use a spindle for the top or just keep using the same type of wood for the top. You could use barn wood. I mean, you can make this whatever you wanted it to be. So just give it a try. It really is a fun way to, you can put it on your mantle. If you have like a high bar top, you could put it there. It's just a fun thing to do. Let me know in the comments below if you're gonna give this a try. Now in the YouTube world, like they're already decorating homes and it's like the first of November, which is crazy early for me. But if you guys insist, I will go ahead and pull out some of my Christmas decorations so that I can get inspired to show you what I do and what I'm gonna do this year. So let me know in the comments below if that's something that you would like to see. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support. And I am getting my making on today and my snuggles with Henry so that I feel better. So don't forget to take care of yourself, guys. And I will see you guys again next week. Bye.